Every year, people coming into the White House have to file a bunch of documents stating how much money they have, what all their assets are, what all their debt is. And for Wilbur Ross, you know, we've been looking at him for years and years, and we thought that he was worth about $2.9 billion. So when the forms came out, we went through and looked at it line by line, it was 57 pages, and by the end of it, we tallied it all up, and we couldn't get anywhere close to $2.9 billion. So reached out to Wilbur Ross and said, hey, um, I'm sorry, but it looks like we're gonna have to kick you off of the Forbes 400. And at the time, he was traveling in Asia, and then he said, I'll, I'll call you when I get back. So we talked on a Sunday, and he told me, you know, the reason that it looks like I'm poorer on that form than I actually am is because shortly after the election, uh, I transferred a bunch of assets into trust for my family members, and that left more than $2 billion of my family's wealth off of my personal financial disclosure report. So I asked Wilbur Ross, all right, so if it's not you who's the beneficiary of these trusts, who actually does get the money in them? And what he told me is, well, you know, it's, it's family members, uh, it, you know, it's, it's children and that sort of thing. And so I tried to press him a little bit more on it. And I said, well, you know, is it just your children? No, you know, there are some other children. His wife had been married previously. I said, okay, so it's your children and, and her children as well, uh, your two stepchildren. And he said, no, there are actually some, some third parties involved. Uh, and then I continued pressing him and said, okay, well, what are the third parties? And he said, well, you know, as you probably know, my wife and I have both been married a few times. So, uh, and then he, he ended by saying definitively that there were no beneficiaries outside of his family members to the trust. This story started with a discrepancy. The forms listed one thing and Wilbur Ross had told us previously that he was worth a different thing. Now we've, we're still back with the discrepancy. So Wilbur Ross now told us that he moved assets into a trust. When asked when he did that, he said shortly after the election, the Department of Commerce has now issued a statement saying the exact opposite of both of those things. So the concern is, would he do anything or would it appear that he's doing anything while he's in office, not to benefit the American people, but instead to benefit beneficiaries of the trust, which are family members of his. So what, what's gonna happen is just a lot of people are gonna be asking questions about where did these assets go? Why did he say one thing and then the Department of Commerce said the other thing? So it's just a classic question of, can people follow up enough? Are we going to figure it out? And ultimately, you know, perhaps Congress says, hey, we really wanna hear some answers on this stuff.